This is the petrophysical analysis of core samples to identify flow units. This is another depiction of poroperm relationship. So for example, we have this core. We start from the left. We have this yellow area and then a little bit orange and then yellow again, orange. We get that from the rock. And based on the characteristics, the physics, the textures, the, the visualization of each rock, we can divide them into several lithophases. We have this one, two, three, four, four lithophases. And from this body of rock, we get, we take core plugs. We have core plugs one, two, three, and four. They are different. And then we, we analyze using microscope and then we see the pore types. So for the, the first class, it's like this. You can say it's high porosity, high permeability. And then this one, lower permeability, lower porosity. And then this one, poor reservoir. And then this one, the lowest porosity, lowest permeability. Okay, they are disconnected. The, the porosity, yeah, you, see, you can see the, the porosity and the permeability is very small from here. And then using this data, uh, using this permeability and porosity from each experimentation, from each measurement, we create this plot. Petrophysical data, we get create this plot for porosity versus permeability. And for the first rock, we have poro and perm here. So porosity high, permeability high, and quite homogeneous. And the second class, quite high porosity, quite high permeability, but more heterogeneous. The range is bigger here. And this one, moderate porosity, moderate permeability. And this one, the fourth class, low permeability, low porosity. And we can also create the capillary pleasure plot. We will learn about this in, in next few weeks, capillary pressure. And then we also check the gamma ray. And the gamma ray, the trend is like this. So clearly they are different. From the gamma ray lock, we, we can clearly see that they are different. And lastly, we make conclusion. Flow units from high quality to the lowest quality, we have finally five or four classes, but we, this one, and then fourth, third, number two and number one. And more or less number four and number two are quite similar. But finally, you can say, you have four types or five types based on this analysis. So you see, this is very, very important because ultimately this will influence our reservoir simulation because in reservoir simulation, we will have porosity, we will have permeability, we will have capillary pressure that will influence our simulation. All right, and although porosity and permeability relationship is very, very useful, it has limitation. And these are the limitation. The plots are constructed using laboratory or core data. Okay, so you see core is very small. So actually it is very, very limited. Maybe it cannot represent the reservoir, the entire reservoir very well. So basically you need to have many cores. And typically correlations drawn on logarithmic plots yield conservative or low permeabilities. Okay, so the plotting technique is also important and it can also be the limitation. Whether we plot it using linear scale or logarithmic scale or semi logarithmic scale are very, very important. High permeability sense may be missing from the core. 
and we need to match or check with well test data or production test results wherever possible to to recheck the observation with core data so core data measurement or core measurement is not enough okay we need to check the well test we need to check the production okay to confirm the conclusion from the laboratory or core measurement 